very much. Arts education has a big payoff, despite many districts cutting arts programs because of tight budgets. In Bucks and Montgomery counties, the Council for the Advancement of Public Schools is a champion for the arts locally. Lauren Weisberg is an art teacher at the Hatboro Horsham High School, and Cassidy Quattro, an award-winning art student. They have seen the power of art in action. Ladies, thanks so much for being with us, and also Cassidy for bringing this really wonderful piece of art. Cassidy's going to explain it to us in just a moment. But uh, Lauren, you have seen a real positive impact on students. Explain that to us. Absolutely. It's something I see every single day. Students like Cassidy um, are going to go on to become animators, graphic designers, industrial engineers. They're really going to help shape our future. And because my district provides a strong foundation for the arts, students like Cassidy are able to go on and achieve their dreams. And so you won a first place. You won Best of Show in the 18th mm -hmm. Annual and is called T the Touch the Future of Art Show. Yes. It's really fabulous. Explain to us what it is that you did here. Um, well, this is a picture of Michelle. She's in my class in high school. And um, I asked her where she was from, and she said she's from El Salvador. And I thought that was really interesting and unique. And um, my concentration for my AP class with Miss E is um, depicting people and their cultural backgrounds and double exposing them inside themselves. And yeah. it's she's really fantastic. Thank you. <laughs> and I asked her about what it was like where she grew up, and she said it was really dark. And I was like, well, that's really good to work from. And I used a couple pictures from like wars that happened, and she experienced these firsthand, the struggles and the injustices that happened. So, so you learned a lot, not only about your art, but you also learned about culture. You right. learned about your friend in a really deep way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, really powerful. And, and, and that really is the point of programs like this, isn't it, Lauren? Absolutely. Um, and you know, we're very lucky that CAPS is, is able to provide us with this amazing show where students like Cassidy can showcase their talents. Um, and you can you know, see from the amount of people who do the show, there's 300 students that participate. There's a lot of interest in art and a lot of students who want to express this passion. CAPS gives students the vehicle to do that. I mean, does it really upset you when you find other districts across the country cutting back on arts programs? Absolutely, because as you mentioned, it's such an important driver and a motivator for a lot of the students in our school. There are students who wouldn't be excited to come to school without their art classes. And art also makes so many interdisciplinary connections between other subject areas. Well, certainly, and as we have seen in this. So what are you hoping to do with your art? Um, I would just like to keep drawing portraits and making a difference and having people feel something when they see it and like think about it. And that's what you're doing with us yeah. right here today. Thank you both. Thank you so much. Thank so for you. more on the Council for the Advancement for Public Schools, and you can go to cbsphilly.com slash talkphilly. We're coming right back.